hi guys very good evening to all of you uh, welcome to the video number 577 my name is Ajay Parmar and today we are going to talk something very exciting something which is going to help you a lot and something which I have been you know getting a lot of emails actually from you guys how to handle the multiple account now since you guys are pretty busy with your these uh, day to day office routines and I guess all of you are working with the multiple clients and you have multiple accounts created there and you want to handle all those accounts right because every account is different when it is configured in the outlook and you want to extract the information maybe the inbox folder you want to export the emails uh, from the inbox maybe from the sent item so this is something we are going to do now today okay we are going to discuss about this thing today so welcome to the channel youtube.com slash c slash ajay kumar parmar and uh, it it has been a fabulous journey i have completed three years um, just last week so congratulations to all of you congratulations to myself we have come a long way 570 videos on excel excel we be access and access we be guys and by the way this is the playlist sequence quickly just go through this playlist sequence if you want to learn you know because there are so many videos and uh, uh, sometime I get this request that uh, you guys uh, need a little help uh, in terms of how to uh, start your learning so you can go and uh, you know watch all this the playlist okay now let me talk about the today's uh, the question I won't wait you, waste your time so Amit uh, had written me this email a few days back uh, hi Ajay sir I want to export the subject line and the date from my outlook multiple accounts I know how to get the data from default account please help me this is urgent need to submit this to my office okay so what actually he has forwarded me this file all right so this is uh, his uh, file and he has given me the snapshot also the multiple account he has in the outlook uh, but due to uh, you know of uh, official reasons i can't show you those multiple accounts but uh, it's very simple i'll just try to explain you guys so basically this is my own outlook okay now what happens generally we all use one outlook account right but people who I mean uh, who, who are on a really big role or I think who handle a lot of clients you know sometimes what happens you configure a lot of uh, the different different account in the same outlook like in my case you can see it is ajay.pramar1981 at outlook.com now you may have one more account here right so both the accounts will have the different different inboxes this is what I'm trying to tell you okay now in this case we have just one inbox we have just one draft we have just you know one sent item delete item everything is same but if I go and configure if I have to configure one more account here I can do that right so this is the question that how we can run the loop so that we can export all the information you know from a specific account whatever account we want to target now generally guys uh, I'll so before we go further because I have already prepared the code I'll explain you what basically is going we are going to do now you see uh, let me just open this excel file I have made the code I'm, I'm, ju I'm ju just going to run this code see this what is going to happen the moment I run this code can you see that all the information is exported so I'm targeting two things the subject line of the email and the receive time and the folder which I'm targeting is the sent item you can see here sent item so I'm going to explain you this all you know that how actually we have programmed this right so now if you have seen if you're not new to my channel uh, then you know that we have already got 50 plus videos on the outlook series please go and watch the playlist excel we were connecting outlook with excel and you find there i think 52 53 videos on the outlook connecting the outlook and there are different different topics you know i had covered a lot of the uh, the videos are uh, you know an attempt to answer your queries now what happens guys in the outlook when we have to connect the outlook the first thing which you have to do is you have to tell the vba you have to tell the VBA that I'm going to deal with the Outlook object, right? So what you do is these two lines you go and write it. Demo as Outlook.application and set O equals to new Outlook.application. But you can't use this line if you do not go to the tool and the reference and you make sure you tell your Excel VBA that I'm going to interact with the external application. What is that external application? That external application is my Outlook 16.0 because I'm using uh, 16 okay 2016 if you have a different version you find here a different number but that there's no problem I mean whatever number you find just go and activate this library Microsoft Outlook 16.0 so this is the library you have to get it activated first make sure this should be check marked right so after that you create the O variable O is the moment I run these two lines 
my O is going to be created in the VBA memory and now O is going to act as the Outlook application. If you want to see that, I can show you, see this, see this. I just go and press O and I click on the dot. Can you see that? You know, O is not a variable. I mean, it is not a VBA word. It is my own created. You can write here whatever you want to, A, B, C, D, whatever, right? But then why the pop-up is coming? I mean, why the drop-down is coming? It, it is simply because now O is not just a normal object. It is an Outlook object. So whatever things you can do with the Outlook, that is going to be done now through the O because directly you can't use the Outlook application. Now, I create these two lines. These are the standard lines. Whenever you deal with the Outlook, you have to create the Outlook object. Otherwise, you will not be able to work with the Outlook. Now, what is this namespace? So I created one more variable ONS and this is going to create, you know, this is how you write name ONS as Outlook.Namespace. Now namespace is a class guys where you have defined all the folders. All the Outlook folders are defined there, right? So this is your, you, this is how you define set ONS equals to O dot O is your Outlook get namespace MAPI. Okay, MAPI, it's not something uh, which I have written you know, by myself. Uh, no, MAPI is a standard, it's a standard word. You have to write it like this, okay? Uh, it's your, I think, a message application, um, uh, the, the platform interface, right? So basically, when you run these two lines again, what happens, your ONS object gets created, now through which you can access, you can get into any Outlook folder. And if you look at this line, I created here my FOL as Outlook.folder. Okay, so I'm using the folder class. Now what happens generally, we use this line guys. Let me comment this line. We use generally this line. Set my folder equals to ONS get default folder and then OL folder inbox. Okay, so this is how we write. Let me just show you this. So as I said that ONS is your now the namespace and in, in ONS when it acts as a namespace, that means all the folders you will find there. So that's why when you write here get you know default folder and you start the bracket, you get to see all the folders. Now these are all the Outlook folders, isn't it? Now I'm targeting, let's say inbox, so I can write the inbox. If you're targeting draft, you can draw, you know, type in here the draft, you can select the draft or whatever, right? So I go and select this inbox. But the point is, but the point is, this is when you have a single account created. Like in my case, I'm using ajay.prama1981 at outlook.com, so I can use this. And this is what exactly, even if you look at his Amit's email, he's saying this, same thing i want to export the subject line and the date from my outlook multiple accounts i know how to get the data from default account he might have seen my other video where i talked about this default account so guys when you have a single account or maybe if you have multiple accounts there is always one account which is you know the by default account so that by default account always get you know picked up from this get default folder but in our case, it is not like that. Now, since I don't have the account created here multiple, but I can show you. Now, if I just, so what you do in, in your case, when you have a multiple accounts and you want to specifically go into, you know, uh, maybe account number two or account number three, which means profile actually, this is the line which you should replace with this line, this line, right? Look at this, what I'm writing. I'm saying set my folder equals to my, namespace ons dot folders in the folders you write your account name so whatever account name you have which is not your by default account you got to write that here dot folders and then in the folder whatever you want to target should become in the double quote so if i want to target the inbox just go and write here inbox this is the only important line which you should write okay so when you write like this thereafter because you see once you have defined the folder and once you have defined the account, the profile, your this code will immediately go into that profile and it will target the inbox of that particular account. Now, once you have set up the account, the profile and in the profile you have defined that which folder you want to go, what is the next thing you want to do? The next thing you want to do is you want to import 
export all the information like maybe you want to loop through here because right now in my inbox I have only four emails maybe I can have hundred emails isn't it so what I will do I will say that let us run the loop there is a loop in the outlook which is which we which we call it as a collection loop for each email in the folder dot emails so in my inbox folder for every email please start exporting the information so this is how you write it I have defined my own mail as outlook dot mail item another class which I'm using I talked about this in my all the outlook you know the videos but if you are new to the channel mail item is nothing it's a class which you use when you want to refer to the outlook email right and this is how you define it set o mail equals to o dot create item ol mail item when you run this line what happens your o mail is going to be treated as your email which can be in the inbox which can be in draft which can be in sent item and now here what i have done i have created two variable dim r as long and i as integer okay now what i'm going to do here and now in this case maybe i think i'm not using i i uh, so you can leave this you can ignore this part i think i was trying something but you see that i'm starting the r as two because i want to start from the second row okay so i go and delete all this information so every time when you run this code you know what you have to do you have to basically go one by one in the row number three four five six right so this is how we are starting so i'm saying that for my every email in my folder you know the folder right what is your folder right your folder is going to be your inbox folder right now it shows nothing but i can just reset the code and let me put the break code and let me run this quickly now you can see here that my my folder is inbox because I have written here inbox okay so we are saying that for every email for each email in my inbox folder dot items just go and you know use the dot subject dot subject means whatever email you get there in my inbox export the information so you can see here I got the subject and then the receive time email dot receive time and this I'm getting in the column number three and my row number is still two okay so once I have this information the next time when it goes for the next email obviously guys you have to go to the next row number so that is that is why I'm incrementing the row by one there we go now again you have a one more information so this is how you see this loop will run four times I guess and finish so for each email is taking care of your all the emails right now if you have three accounts so what you can do you can simply go here there are a lot of ways of doing it what I would do if I am in your place I'll simply go and copy this I copy this code like this I'm copying this code and I go here and I let me just go and delete all this thing and I paste the code here okay and now in that code I will go and change my account number so maybe let's say I have another account which is ajay.pama2 rest everything remains the same you just go here and change the name of this macro so let's say this is my macro okay, called outlook import subject line and now when the first macro finishes you just go and call this macro so what will happen guys basically the first macro will run and then the second macro will be called which is this and then it goes in this account and it is you know it will start pulling out the information and this is a tested code right um, uh, I got the opportunity to talk to my subscriber and he was quite content and happy with that right uh, so I don't have the multiple accounts, so I can't show you but you know you keep on copy and pasting this and you keep on calling just keep on writing here outlook import subject line 2 and then call outlook import subject line 3 I mean as if you have four accounts you can just write here you know all the four macros and you can start calling them so this is the very important line okay now one more thing which I'm telling you in advance now sometimes what happens a lot of guys you know have commented that they get the error type mismatch now guys when you get the type mismatch error while in exporting this information for example I show you uh, this is my sent item now in the sent item I have a lot of emails right so what I do is in instead of this inbox now I go and write sent items I want to target my sent item okay now I go and try to run this code and now this code will target my sent item okay so the every concept remains the same the only thing is your folder now when you run this code you know your folder will be now going to work on the sent items very simple right so when I run this code you see what happens the code is running the data is exported but somehow I get to see the type mismatch error now this error why if, if you're getting this error then what does that mean that there are some you know uh, the the information in your that folder which is not treated as a uh, as an email or uh, that might be uh, some meeting 
invite that might be some appointment you know how you have fixed it with somebody so they, they are not actually going to be you know treated as a mail item class and that is where this error comes type mismatch right so you have two methods to do it first you make your folder filtered just remove all those calendar items you know meeting invites and put that in some another folder now this is very hard to do it because that's going to be a lot of manual work so what you do is you just put on the top here on this top you just put here on error resume, resume next right now this line what it does is if you get any error in the code this line will simply bypass that error so your code is not gonna stop okay so I go and delete this again and I show you again I quickly go and run this code there we go now you can see that error definitely would have come you know uh, error, error would be there uh, i'm not saying that error can't because you just saw that the error was there but this code will not stop so when you are pretty much sure that the error would come then you can always use the on error resume next okay so this is how guys uh, this is all about this multiple accounts so don't forget to write this line and through this line you can handle the folders of your choice and as well as the multiple accounts so thank you so much for watching and thank you so much i see that a lot of guys are now subscribing and channel is really expanding i'm very thankful to all of you you have been very consistent supporting me from the last three years and i promise that we keep coming back and discussing you know these fantastic things keep writing and keep subscribing i'll see you in my next video thank you so much bye bye